You know, first of all, we did not even have an idea that they were going to do any program on secondary education. Mm -hmm. We heard it through social media. Something was going on. Somebody said, do you know what is going on at a Super Morning Show? And I said, what is going on? So I called people that I know are joining us. And I said, what is going on? They had no clue what was going on. Then I called GES and said, hey, what is going on? And they said, we have no clue. So we deploy people to just listen in. That was when we even knew they was going to do anything on Free Senior High School, much mm. less coming to us to tell us that we've done a study or we've done research or we've gone to your schools and this was going on. No notification whatsoever. We attempted through so many means to respond, mm -hmm. to, for them to bring us on. And they said no. They well, ran these three continuous days without giving us an opportunity to respond to the good people of Ghana. When you say without giving you opportunity, what do you mean? You, I mean, you hey, call them and they I, say. I think that what uh, your profession does mm -hmm. is that if they hear something, research something, produce something, they will ask you. Yeah. And say, hey, we've seen this. What is going on? Mm -hmm. We want to get your side of the story. Mm -hmm. Right? So at minimum, you will know that there's going to be a show yeah. about your program. Mm -hmm. So there are two things here. They did not tell us that there's even going to be anything on education on their show. Much less coming to show us that this is what we have and respond. And when you tried to get on, you oh, yeah. refused? The door of was course. closed on you? Oh, yeah. Dr. Tando went through so many means. We was trying to say GES should be allowed to respond. Nope. They are saying that after four days of this onslaught, they want him to come tomorrow. And I'm saying to them, at minimum, give GES a chance. If you not even inform us that you're going to do a show on us, which I don't even understand, if you're not even checking with us as to the things you have uncovered, if legitimately the people are our students or headmasters, you could come to us and say, school A has this challenge. But they say you could victimize them, and there's something like that. Victimize the, the media? No, Stay victimize true. the people who... tell. No, no, but if you come to me, you mm. don't even have to mention the name of the person you talk to. The student, I don't need to know her. Mm -hmm. It's a question of saying, I went to this school and there was a problem. But me, the Minister for Education, victimizing a student who is telling me that there's a problem, and if you can fix it, it will make for a great school, why would I victimize that student? Why would the Director General of Ghana Education Service say that, oh, a student's chair, and by the way, he didn't say her peers' chairs were not functioning, right? Mm -hmm. She's saying her chair has some, yes, it's it not has working. a wobbling kind of thing mm -hmm. and it's not working. I want to fix that chair so that the student will fit, sit comfortably. I'll probably take one chair from Accra and take it straight to her and say, hey, mm -hmm. I want you to sit comfortably so you can study for me. So who will victimize that young woman? For say my chair is not working, something she probably have not told her headmaster or headmistress because that headmaster, I know how hard working headmasters are. If any student was to go to a headmaster and say, headmaster, I'm having a challenge with my chair, that headmaster would have gotten the carpenter to fix it in no time mm -hmm. because headmasters of this country are innovative and hard working and they care about their students. When you put out a story like this, you are painting a picture to the whole country that we have headmasters who don't care. But my headmasters are very caring individuals. And if that student, after you interview the kid, you probably should have said, go and tell your headmaster <laughs> that your chair is not comfortable. Because she may be in a school where there are 2,000 students. The headmaster may not know that that particular student is sitting on a chair that is not comfortable. In the show, they did never say anything like, the girl said she has spoken with the headmaster or the teacher several times and they did not bother and she's uncomfortable sitting on that chair. So, my brother, I doubt if that student, uh, that girl, is truly a student of any secondary school in Ghana because she will have gone to the form master, she will have told the teacher, she will have told the headmaster that I have a problem with my chair and headmasters, they have carpenters in their schools, for Christ's sake. Mm. So, I so think the bottom line is, on all fronts, so you don't believe the story. discerning Ghanaians mm -hmm. should look at this. It's unfortunate, but I think discerning Ghanaians who believe in the vision of the president will also understand 
that this is not how headmasters run schools. Even looking back at my time in Presec, and just as you were talking, I was just glancing through, and those of you who went to Presec, you understand, because these teachers stayed there for longer generations. I can imagine myself in a Presec classroom, the monodex as we used to have it, is not working, and I tell Mr. Piedu that the monodex is not working, he'll be in a hurry to fix it. Of course. I can swear on that. Mr. Ave will be in a hurry to fix it. I can swear on that. I mean, everyone knows that when he comes to the classroom, you ask you, are you sure you are comfortable? Mm -hmm. And, and uh, the, I, I tell this story all the time at uh, uh, O-level time when uh, students want to sit at the same place to write the exam. And our uh, assistant headmaster came in and thought that, uh, that, that it had rained in June, so there was some water. And he wanted us to be more comfortable, so he wanted to move the monodex onto the stage. Mm. And students were resisting that, <laughs> that we don't want to go to the stage to write our exam and sit by invigilators. Yeah. We want to sit by our own people. So, you're right, headmasters, and, and any viewer who's watching who has a contrary view of your school, you can call into the program and tell us. If you have a real contrary view of a school that you went to where um, headmasters do not reflect the characterization that the minister is, is saying, which I'm endorsing or with my own experience in Presec, you can talk about it. So, so yes, I think, that, I think that maybe multimedia will have to look at that because all of us went to secondary schools, and headmasters always seek the welfare of the people. I think that's always been the case. I, I, so I, you don't believe the story? No. Okay, but there was a headmaster who also spoke in, in one I, of the... I don't believe that. Because that guy who is claiming to be a headmaster was making some serious contradictory statements. Mm -hmm. He was saying that, oh, they give them books, but they require them to leave the books behind for another uh, group of students. That, is, that has always been the norm in all senior high schools. That you go Which to book, a textbook... Test textbooks? Mm -hmm. They're called textbooks. Mm -hmm. You go to the, the textbook room, they check out the books to you. At the end of the year, you leave the books behind mm. as you move on to Form 2. And that is what I saw at my school. Uh, so why... But was he criticizing that? Oh, yes. Why, why is that a problem? What about a teacher saying that they check their WhatsApp uh, platforms, they check their Facebook, and if you say something, you'll be transferred? There's a Gestapo kind of thing. I can't believe it. Mm. In the fourth Republican constitution in Ghana, there's some security apparatus maybe in the Ministry of Education. I, I haven't seen anything. Mm -hmm. I've been there for a few months, and I haven't seen any intelligence system at the ministry that send people to schools, and they spy on them, and they check Facebook account. I don't have them. But, I, but I could it be true them. that the food may not be good in some schools? Could oh, it be true? definitely. We all have gone to senior high school. Mm. Uh, there are some people who come from homes that they don't like the school food or no, me, what, she, what me, she's talking me, about is not just that. Every, it's every it's very that, poorly cooked food. I mean, I will not sit here and say it never happened. I mm -hmm. can't say that. But what I know is that matrons do a good job. However, depending upon the home that you are coming from, there are some sc uh, school food that you may not like. I mean, mm -hmm. I came from a village. Every, every food they gave to me was like the best I've ever seen. Mm. And I'll eat everything. <laughs> I know there are some girls who did not even show up in the, uh, in the dining hall. Because they didn't like the food. Yes, of course, there are times when the food may not be cooked well. It has happened a few times in our schools. We all have gone to school. But I remember the girls who say, oh, when they do jollof, it's good. Yeah, she said that, yes. Yeah, she yeah. said that mm -hmm. when they do jollof, it's good. Mm -hmm. So, yes, school food sometimes may not be to the taste that we want. But I don't believe that we have matrons who intentionally, consistently, cook some bad food for kids. I mean, that I don't. But if once, maybe once a month, there was some food that was cooked and students didn't like it, it happens all the time. Mm -hmm. So those things, I will not sit here and defend. But I also know that there's a national menu that the matrons of Ghana came together and developed. So the food that is cooked on a daily basis across the country is the same thing, unless you have north, south, where... Oh, menu for Monday, Sunday. Oh, yeah, yeah. So if so Monday they are eating uh, yam, the, every whole Ghana, yeah. they are always eating yam. Yes. Sometimes oh. they do this regional mm -hmm. differences based on the, uh, the season. Mm -hmm. And maybe some schools in the north may do more millets than the south. Those, those differences are there. Mm -hmm. But in the various regions, they are supposed to cook the same food at all times. Unless seasonal changes bring about the change in the menu based on the region that the school find themselves. So it's not during our days where every school does something different. Mm. So yes, there can be a situation where on a certain occasion, the food was not good. So I'm not going to sit here and defend that. No, let me talk to you about uh, overcrowding. That also came up. I mean, that is why 
uh, multimedia could have done us a great service by at least disclosing to us that there's a problem at this. And I get that all the time from media. There are some media houses where they will call you and say, somebody called us, and uh, sometimes they say, we haven't even checked that, but we want you to check. I, w I went on Sefakai's show, for example. On Peace uh, FM. Peace Co -co -co. Yeah. And, and somebody called him from Aveno and said there was a school there that's, that for some reason was abandoned. There was a problem there. The school was pulled down and that they want a new school there. I immediately called. I told my friend Yabuama was the guy there. Then uh, Ms. Newman, Honorable Newman, came to me and said, oh, that's mine. Constituency. Now we are working on building the school, but it came from a show. Somebody called in, said, if I can relay uh, relayed the information to me, and we are, I know media are partners in national development. Mm -hmm. So if you find something at a school, at minimum, you call the Minister of Education, Director General, Director General, there's a problem in these institutions, and we're probably going to do a show on it. Do you have any response? Right? That's a different story. One. We don't okay, even so the know. Point you're making is that if you know. tell us the school, mm -hmm. there's no point of victimization because no, you, don't, you don't even want to know who called them. Victimize who? So if, 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 if a student asks who called them. No. The girl who was making the allegation, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. You don't even have to disclose the name. Oh, there's a problem. Maybe in one of the home economics class, there's a student there with a challenge, right? Check mm -hmm. it out. But even if you mention the name, what is the point? A minister of education going to look for a rama in mm. a school. No, a rama they won't mention, but maybe the teacher or... No, the no, going to look. I'm saying if they mention her to me, right? Yeah, yeah. what's I, the point of going what's to... What's the point of going to a school? A rama, why did you say your chair is not good? Are you serious? Yeah. I, I mean, but the idea that teachers are being spied on, I, I don't understand. What kind of country are we talking about? In this country, Ministry of Education saying that we are spying on the headmaster. Spying on them for what? Victimizing them for what? We had some transfers of headmasters in the past during the time of uh, Dr. Poku Pempe. Didn't we have some issues like that? I, I will not say there were issues well, that were sent to Augustine or something like that. Not I mean, some, if some there was school. any transfer, mm. something may have happened mm. there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, for example, I know some school that whose name I will not mention because it will be tracked down to somebody. Well, there were serious issues about money being collected for admission. Ah, yeah, yeah, in violation of yeah, the free Yeah, in violation of the senior high school policy. Mm. So those things happen and action will be taken. But headmasters call me all the time. Call me, even when I was a deputy. They call me and say, we have this challenge. Can you, and whenever possible, we'll shift furniture immediately there. Whenever there's a challenge, we'll help them to resolve them. If you ask headmasters across the country, ask them if anybody who has reported issues to me, I had not immediately taken action on it. I mm. want to talk to them. They are so headmasters are called out of the blue to see how they are doing. Mm. Victimize them when they are working for me, when they are helping in the education system of this nation, helping implement the president's agenda, which will lead to socioeconomic transformation. If they have a challenge, who should they talk to? Me. Director General. So I don't understand this issue of victimization, that if you complain that there's a challenge. If a headmaster calls me and says, Mr. Minister, Boko headmaster, mm -hmm. call me recently, send me a message. Mr. Minister, I have a problem with furniture. In no time, furniture was there. I was so happy that he called me. But do they have to call you? Is there no mechanism in the system that they works. Have, oh no, there's a mechanism where uh, we have a reporting lines, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, the district director to regional director to director general. So I call the military structure. Mm -hmm. And uh, American trained. Mm -hmm. I want to catch, uh, you know, um, I want to really go through the system and where we can solve problems. Solve it. Mm -hmm. So if they call me. You I don't have any problem with oh, that? Oh no, no, I don't have any problem. Exactly. There was another matter, exams. Uh, a parent yeah. complained that mm -hmm. his child has taken exams only once. Uh, th th this is situations where multimedia could have done a better job, at least telling us that th at this school. Mm -hmm. They've taken exams just once. You don't have to disclose to me which parent told you that. Mm. So then we get to work. Yes. If you really want problems to be solved, 
I have no way because Ghana Education Service require that they are semester exams. When they say they've taken an exam one time, I don't know what kind of exam they are the student is talking about. Mm -hmm. I know some schools where they do monthly exams. Accra girls, for example, were doing monthly exams, right? Monthly. Monthly. Some schools don't have the same kind of uh, history or, or culture. They may do once every two months. Mm -hmm. But at minimum, the semester exams should be done, end of semester. So the so exams every, that the every child is taking about, two at least? Of course. If you are in form two, you must have done first semester, second semester. Mm -hmm. So if they have shown us or told us that, oh, this is what is happening at this school, and then we can ask what type of exams are you talking about? Is the student talking about end of semester exam, monthly exam, uh, midterm exam? What kind of exams is that? Mm -hmm. So when you say that they are not taking exams, I'll be very happy to know uh, what kind of exams are you talking about?